Hello, I'm Michael Santoro. I am co-founder and co-editor-in-chief of the Business and Human Rights Journal, which is published by Cambridge University Press. In this video, I will describe how the peer review process works and why it is so important to the academic community. At the Business and Human Rights Journal, we rely on the knowledge, judgment, and wisdom of our editorial board to help us make decisions about manuscripts submitted for publication. We also rely upon ad hoc reviewers when we receive a submission that requires special scholarly expertise. It takes a lot of time for a peer reviewer to read an article and prepare a coherent and helpful set of recommendations for an author. Authors should understand that this is why when you submit an article to a high quality academic journal, you are likely not to hear anything back for months. The peer review process by its nature is slow. In fact, many articles at competitive journals like Business and Human Rights Journal don't make it to the peer review stage. So if your submission has been selected for peer review, it means you've met an important threshold and that the editors and the reviewers are giving every consideration to your work. Why are peer reviewers willing to put in such hard work? Because they understand that the peer review process is the single most important foundation of the academic profession. It makes publishing an article in an academic journal or a book with an academic press very different from publishing a newspaper or magazine article or a trade book. When an article is published in a peer reviewed journal, it means that the scholarship meets a quality standard that is set by the very best scholars working in that discipline. That is why publication in peer reviewed journals is the gold standard for academic hiring and promotion throughout the world. Peer review helps editors to assure that a submission considers all relevant previous scholarship and that it makes an important new contribution to the field. For submissions that are not selected for publication, the peer review process should help an author by offering suggestions that can help shape an improved submission for the next journal an author submits to. For authors who have received a peer review report, it is extremely important to address all of the comments and, use and suggestions when you submit your revised manuscript. It is helpful to editors if you explain in a separate cover letter how you have done so. In the very rare case where an author might strongly disagree with a peer reviewer, it is very important that they clearly state their reasoning to the decision editors. At the Business and Human Rights Journal, we are extremely grateful to our editorial board and our outstanding ad hoc reviewers for their time, energy, and insights. We also thank our authors for their patience with the peer review process, and we hope they appreciate that our goal as editors is to assure that articles published in Business and Human Rights Journal meet the very highest academic standards in the field of business and human rights. Thank you.